Hello dear students. I'm your ICT teacher Ms. Ria back again with another video on Excel. In the previous video we saw how to enter labels and values into your, into your spreadsheet. And I hope you complete your, your activity on entering labels and values. That was we entered the animals and the count of animals. Right? Today we are going to see how to add two numbers in Excel using a formula. Now what is a formula is what we are going to see in this tutorial. Alright, let me open the Excel sheet. I've opened my previous file in which I had typed the labels and values. I'm going to use the same Excel sheet. I'm going to add another sheet to the same workbook. For that, you need to click on this plus button at the bottom. Click on this plus, you get a new sheet. But the previous sheet is right here. Okay, you can click on sheet 2 and here we are going to start typing new data. I'm going to type about eating fruits. Eating fruits. Okay, my mom got some, or she went to the supermarket and she bought some oranges and she gave them to me. I'm going to type that data over here. And then my aunt also had been to the supermarket and she too bought some oranges. My mom gave me 7 oranges and my aunt gave me 3 oranges. Now this is how many oranges I had. How many oranges do, do I have now? My mom gave me 7 oranges. My aunt gave me 3. So how many oranges do I have in total? What should I do here? Which mathematical operation I'm going to use here? Yes, you're right. We are going to add these two numbers. So what is 7 plus 3? 7 plus 3 is? Yes, you're right. It's 10. But I did this math mentally. I added these numbers mentally. Today you're going to learn how to add these two numbers without calculating them in your mind. Okay, that is by using Excel formulas. By using Excel formula. Now, what is a formula? Formula is nothing but rule. We need to define this rule in Excel. Now, how to give an Excel formula? First of all, let me delete this. Okay, I don't want the number because I just typed it by counting mentally. So, I'm going to type in the formula. Always remember, Excel formula begins with an equal symbol. Formula begins with an equal symbol. Equal. This is the equal symbol. Right? Formula begins with this symbol. And where do I find this symbol? You will find the equal button, equals key, right next to the backspace key. The backspace key is over here and is used to delete the typing errors, right? It's right next to it. Okay, this is my equals key. Alright, so I'm going to open Excel back. And here I'm going to type the formula. Formula begins with equals. Equals. After typing the equal symbol, click on number 7. Using the mouse, just click on number 7. So when you press the number 7, there are some lines moving around this number. It shows that it is selected. See, C4 appears here automatically. It's blue in color. That means it is selected. Now type the plus symbol from your keyboard. I'm typing plus and then click on the next number that you want to add. I want to add number 3. I'll press on this number. Now, now the blue line is around this number. And it's pink in color. So it has added these two numbers. Now next click the enter key. When I press the enter key. The sum is over here. It automatically calculated. 
All right, once again, I want to show you where is the plus symbol on the screen, on the keyboard. It's over here. Plus key is over here. Equals is here and plus is over here. Let me do it once again for you. I'm going to delete this. Type the equal symbol. Click on the first number. Then click on plus and then click on the second number and press the enter key. Your answer is here. Alright, now let me change this number. I don't want the number to be 7. My mom gave me 10 oranges. Now what should be the answer here? I'll just click on enter key. Did the number change automatically? Yes, it did change. That is because of the formula. And this is the formula bar. This bar over here is called the formula bar. Whatever formula you type, it appears over here. Equal C4 plus C5. Alright, I hope you've understood how to add two numbers in Excel. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubt, do send me a private comment on Google Classroom. Thank you.